Well, you hear warnings all the time about making sure that your kids wear helmets when they're riding bikes, and it carries a bit more weight, though, when it comes from someone whose son is in the hospital, in part because he didn't wear one. And some of the pictures, they might be a little troubling, but that mother wants people to see them. Join your size, Karis Belger spoke with her after she called us because she doesn't want to see what happened to her boy happen again. He has sit stall fractures. He's had a broken eye socket. He split his head open on the windshield, so he has 10 staples in the back of his head, and he has several fractures in his face. Scariest feeling ever. Um, I was trying to be strong, but if any mom sees your child laying on the bed like that, it was impossible. Christine Zip told me she got a call on Monday while she was at work that her son was being taken to Oshai Children's Hospital. He's been there since the accident, and she says he's been in and out of consciousness while he tries to recover. The experience has taught her a valuable lesson. Christine tells me her son was riding along Eckert Road here in Boston when the accident happened. And now that her son is recovering, she wants other parents to understand when it comes to their children's safety, it's better safe than sorry. For parents and for kids, just a stress to wear your helmets. I mean, everything that's not cool, it may not look cool, but my son faced death. And it's the scariest thing I'll ever, ever come across. And Christine told me her son Aiden is making progress at the Children's Hospital and that her son now knows he cannot ride his bike without wearing his helmet. She also wants to encourage drivers to be vigilant and watch for cyclists on the road. Karis Belger, Channel 2 News.